Hey guys, Will Lewis here, and today we've got another match day vlog for you guys. It's Sunday morning, it's Premier League action, it's Aston Villa versus Manchester United. Yes, it's another away day at Villa Park, not always an easy place to go. And it is a massive game today, after the win against Sociedad in midweek, which at the same time felt like a defeat, to be honest with you. We go into this game really needing the three points to stay in the race for top four. We go into this game in fifth place with a win, we can move into fourth providing that Newcastle don't beat Southampton later on today. I'm not sure what to predict for today. We'll obviously do our predictions in the car later, but I'm just hoping for three points. Anyway, come on United. Right guys, we're at Stafford Services. Time to get McDonald's. Baker, egg muffin. Let's tuck in. Delicious. Right guys, just parked up in a car park, not too far away from Villa Park. Uh, the weather, it's not great. Yeah. Uh, what, what do you think is going to happen today then? It's, it's a wet one, wet one in the West Midlands. Uh, Villa, Villa away. And it's about 27 years since they last beat us at home in the Premier League or whatever you want to call it. Uh, Unai Emery is in charge. His first real game, isn't it, really? Yeah. It's going to be a, an interesting one and a difficult one to predict. At the same time, Villa are scrapping for points down the bottom. Yeah. Even though it's quite tight down there, so you can you can win two or three games and suddenly you're in the top half of the table. Uh, similarly, if if we slip up today, you know we're 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 off the tails of the top four. So <clears throat> there's, there's a few games today. Yeah, if, which will shape uh, the, the table by the end of the day. So, looking for a a, a good performance. Obviously, disappointing not to uh, go away with the uh, the qualification midweek. Yeah, that was disappointing. Uh, even though we, we kept a clean sheet, but second half it was a shambles. Yeah, substitutions here, there, and everywhere. And uh, putting Maguire up top as well. Didn't have a shot on target, but that's a different kettle of fish. That uh, yeah. today. <coughs> Obviously, Fernandez is suspended. You know, you've got injury darts with Anthony Sancho and Martial, uh, and it's it's going to be a, a interesting to see who he, who he plays. Um, not not a lot of time for a rest coming back from Spain. Um, yeah, I don't really know. I, I, I'm predicting I'm going to go one 0 United. What do you think? Even though I think Villa will cause us problems. Uh, if you've got Lindelof playing, if he plays it, obviously you can't rely on Martinez to mop up and get us out of trouble. Actually, you've got Dallo and Shaw probably start, and you've got <coughs> who's going to be midfield? Casemiro, Eriksen. It's free. He's going to play Fred. Uh, who will he play up front? Garnacho, Ronaldo. So there's a few options there and a few a few ways he's going to play it. But I, I want to see us win. Need to see us win. We need to win, really. Uh, I mean, uh, it'd be great to go away with a clean sheet. It'd be difficult. I think, you know, like you say, Villa could score, uh, may score. It's important that we do get an early goal, uh, and, and he's because the Villa crowd are always up for it. Yeah. I'm gonna go one 0 United, but I don't, I don't see me coming away with that prediction. What about you? Uh, I'm thinking two one United. I think especially with the support of the Villa fans. And the capabilities they have, I think they will score a goal. But we need to have that attacking intent. I want Garnacho to start because he's looked lively the two games that he's featured in recently. Uh, and I'm sure he can pop up with a goal. Maybe Ronaldo rushing up front, get a bit of pace. Yeah, Ronaldo was disappointed Ronaldo came on. He kept getting caught in possession. Yeah. 
he gets yeah. easily frustrated, but that's where we need well, to... Well, although we need to sort of step up in these occasions and put some chances away, and uh, as I say, it's going to be a tough one. Yeah. So, 1-0, 2-1, one one. come on United. Game, right guys, let's head to our entrance.
Alright uh, guys, it's half time now. Um, comments went losing 2 1. Um, I think overall, the first half we were very poor. No cohesion in the team, no one wanting to get forward. Players look like they don't know where they're playing. Obviously, Shaw gave us that goal for half time. It sets us up good for the second half, but it's not good enough, really. No, we've left. They've been first to the ball and the midfield's been loads of acres of space. Early on, we, we just got out of the blocks really slow. They, they look like Brazil Villa, and obviously, yeah. you know, they're, 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 they're as far removed as Brazil as, it, as one could be. But we, you know, as usual, we, we make our own problems. Yeah. And they've taken too well, you know, the, the, the goals that they have scored were well taken, but, you know, we, we are the master of our downfalls yet again. We, we've taken a while to grow into to grow into the game. About 30, 35 minutes we started to get it together. We finished a bit, finished more struggling. Obviously that the goal, the, the deflected goal that has given us a lifeline. So I thought if Villa get a third, then it's difficult. So when we're two one behind against Villa, anything's possible here. I mean, you can't rule out a United win, but he's going to have to say something to the lads. We've got to get the field sorted out. Just got to be a bit more alert. Obviously, Bruno looks like he's been missed today. He's dictated things. Yeah. He's, he's going to have to look at look to see how we can stop giving Villa freedom and Villa part. Really. Yeah, we need to recover quickly. Villa look quite strong going forward as well. So we just got to keep them out. But we have really got to get back into this properly. <laughs> guys just got back to the car after that 3-1 defeat by Aston Villa it's a bad day at the office but you can't have too many of the, too many of those in a season we've got them again uh, midweek in that in the cup the rubbish cup so uh, disappointing just got a new manager and you know we, we it, we've taken five steps forward in like another 20 back and I think it's the first time in 27 years they've won at home against us very, very few standout performances, uh, <coughs> and I think we missed Bruno, which is something to say. But yeah. too many, too many players went missing today. I'm not going to say much more. Uh, we'll move on to midweek. No, it was just a very disappointing performance. There was nothing. I mean, we started off the second half. They got the goal, which just killed it for us, basically. We never we, really looked like getting back in. We still had, season. we still had over 40 minutes to try and score two goals, but it just never it's happened. Sloppy balls. Did, did we did we even have like a shot in the second half? Not really, no. I, I don't recount, recount anything of any interest. No. Uh, it was just just another bad day at the office, and yeah. we have to move on from this quickly. Anyway, we'll see you on Thursday night for the Carabao Cup game against this lot again. Come on, United.